Good evening folks, I've just finished work, it's a lovely evening so I thought I would just pop over, do some watering and make a little video because it's been a while. I've got a few things to show you but I've also got a few things to tell you as well. I've made a few mistakes folks, crack on! Ah, it's a lovely evening, nice and warm, sunny and all that kind of thing. I'll just quickly show you around, look at there's a bee right on cue. Where is it? Enjoying the comfrey. I always leave a few to go to flower. You've got to look after the bees. Anyway, I have come to do a bit of watering. Things are looking good. Here. The broad beans doing alright. I put the peas out the other day. And they're doing alright down there. So it's all good. Now there's a few mistakes I was telling you about, I made, I, tell, I told you about this uh, frame that I made for the climbing beans. Well I'll tell you about that in a minute. Here's the potatoes. And what I've noticed is, I've made a mistake here as well. Well not a mistake, I've just, look at these potato plants. They're all in a line. <laughs> I didn't plant them folks, they've just appeared of last year's crops so there is a few in there that has come up most of the uh, Charlotte ones are up now you can see which ones are the ones I planted like for example here there's no way that was pla uh, planted at the same time as that one there this is a row of kestrel so, like there as well, that one's just started coming up, that one's not nothing to do with it, but I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't think it is, I'll leave it a couple of more weeks and then just get rid of these ones, the rogue potatoes, well I could just leave them there, I don't know, there's no sign of anything in the buckets yet, but there's a couple of things growing in the greenhouse which wasn't growing the last time. So I take into there. I've put uh, a bit net up now because it's it's a bit warm for a greenhouse with no well unless you have the vents open all the time, but I don't. Look at the size of these uh, tomatoes now. So they'll be ready to go out next time. Next time I'm up for a full day. Then go into the beds there. Been pulling the suckers off the sweet aperitif and it's got its first set of uh, flowers on there, which is good. Aye. Me mistake, folks. And it wasn't because, it was only because I read the comments um, that I've realised me mistake. But I'll tell you about that later. These are the Ferrari beans doing all right there but it's a good job I sowed some more blue lake climbing beans because I found out through one of my subscribers commenting that uh, Ferrari beans aren't climbing beans the bush variety <laughs> nightmare anyway cucumbers are doing all right in there there's uh, six out of the eight come up, which is good. The peas also coming up. And like I say, the broad, uh, the blue lake climbing beans. The sweet corn has started to grow a bit better. And that's another thing that someone commented. In fact, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to sit down and tell you all about it there. Because it, it'll be something different. <laughs> Aye, eh, uh, this cat mint, look at that, that's grew a canny bit. I'll take some up for Paula's cats. And, uh, the rest of the dahlias. I put some dahlias out here. Last time I was up. So they're in the bed there. I'll just get on the other side of the sun. Because you can just see me shadow. Whoa, look at that, I've just noticed that. Look at the size of that bamboo there. Bloody hell. 
Now I've put the, well I've put four dahlias there. The sweet peas are starting to climb now. I've also put this wild geranium I think. But that was off another comment which I'll be telling you about in a minute. The lobelias out there, I'll be getting some clumps, plant them down here and I'll put the rest in the garden in the house. So, like I say, I'm going to do something different here. I'll sit you down and I'll tell you about the comments and how helpful they are. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. Right, I've come to sit in the shed because it's a bit too warm out there to sit. It's just easier in here. Now, this is a, a new... I've never done this before, folks. Um, on the last video, I got a few comments. A few of them because I asked for advice, which I got, and thank you. So what I'd do is I thought I'd go through the comments in there and answer and, and thank yous and all that through this because it's better I think like I say I just hate commenting back there's, there's, I get loads of comments and I would like to reply back properly to them all but it's just impossible especially with me get hammer thumbs anyway like I say I, I'll go through the comments and uh, I'll tell you all about it and all that so uh, I've, I went with the newest first Brian Morrison, is it too late to sow sweet corn and French beans now from the northeast? Well, I'm not too sure about sweet corn, but it's not too late to stick beans in. Get them in. Perfect time. Wasp. Oh, no. Eh. Hi, Brian. Perfect time. Chuck some sweet corn in as well. You never know. You might get something. Who knows? Um. Glassback DIY, <laughs> I'll give you another mention. Um, I noticed, you, you know, you were kind of chuffed that you got a shout out, so that's why I'm doing this. I, I give everybody a shout out, because it's all good. And like I say, some of the comments really did help us out. So, thanks again, Glassback DIY. Um, Green Day, I'm not too sure about Green Day. Uh, I might learn it, but then again, I might not. So thanks for that comment. Uh, Up and Adam, now do a U2 song. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, the only U2 song I know is Exit. That's because I used to play it on the bass in a band. Um, Roy Holder. <coughs> Roy Holder. Cheers, Dave. Old Muck Darby's farm. Good update, Mucker. Cheers. Um, Stephen. You know what? I should put my reading glasses on, folks. Bad idea, this. Stephen McKelvey. That's how you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I've got it wrong. Hi, Dave. Another great down earth video. Plot's looking good. Love the song, and as I'm a top. Uh, Johnny Cash fan you should be in for a bumper harvest this year do you know any bad company songs <laughs> I don't know any songs really haha <laughs> well uh, I'll get on to the music bit in a minute Lee was as home veggie garden nice one Dave nice one Lee Neil Sheriff now, this is the interesting thing. I asked what Ray's apple tree could be. By the way, if you haven't seen me post, um, Ray has been back on the plot. His daughter's been bringing him over to do a little bit watering every now and again. So it is, it's nice. It's, well, I got a really nice surprise the other day when I come and I seen Ray doing a little bit of watering. Good stuff. Keep it up, Ray, if you're watching. I'll see you sometime when you're on the plot, eh? Nice one. Uh, aye, Neil Sheriff. Could the apple tree be James instead of John? Might be James Greaves. And thank you, Neil. That's what it is. Totally remembered. James Greaves. And I can even ask Ray now. But anyway, thank you. That 
did solve the, the problem that I had. James Greaves. Um, Twilight Nine. Sorry, I cannot read. <laughs> it's Keith Smile. It's Keith Smile. Uh, Dave, as you be. Yes, it's been cold down south as well. However, my broad beans and fox gloves have taken off. Good stuff. Thanks for commenting. Coco, hiya Dave. Very good. The garden and the singing, fantastic. This will actually be good for your plant growth. Apparently plants like a bit of music. They are sensitive to their surroundings. They thrive in warmth and happiness. A bit like us folks. Aye, I like, I heard that years ago actually. I was gonna do an experiment. And if you talk to your plants as well, it's good. So I was gonna talk nicely to one plant and talk not very nicely to the other plant. See if the difference, but I never got round to that. But thanks for the comment anyway, Coco. Uh, earthly spaces. What's growing instead of the kale is a wild geranium. Geranium pulsum or something. Have a good day, Dave. Have a good day yourself, earthly spaces. And thanks for the help. Uh, raw Jane Shebel. If that's your, how you pronounce your name, I'm sorry if it's not. And all that kind of thing. See us in a bit. Ha. Um, no, sorry, I'm drifting. That would be a, a video in itself. Um, hi, Dave. Absolutely fa fascinated by the whole allotment garden system you have in the UK. Love your videos and the music. Would you consider doing a video on the ins and outs of allotment gardening? I'm in the US and we don't really have an option in too many areas, so I'd love to know how it works. Sorry folks, I've got, I haven't got my reading glasses with us. Um, where was up now? How, uh, where, and where, how it works. How much space can you get? You've obviously been there a while. How long can you work your allotment? Are there different sized allotments? Do you pay rent? Anyway, thanks for sharing the content. See you in a bit. <laughs> um, well, I've been on this allotment site since 2000. Um, it's up to you how long you rent your garden for. Uh, the usual size, well, my size is 30 foot by 100 foot plot. That's classed as a large allotment. And I pay £155 for that which includes a worn tap, which like when, when 10 people's here, it's a nightmare trying to water your stuff. And that's one other thing. If I didn't, if I, if I couldn't get access to water via a tap, I don't think I would have an allotment because during the middle of summer, you, you've got no chance of filling like, you know, water and everything properly with just a couple of water butts. And what happens if it doesn't rain? Anyway, that's that. I'm drifting. I might make a whole video on that subject one day. But thanks again for the comment, Jane Shebel. And that's totally wrong, Sheeb. I mean, I can't see properly. Um, Raymond Domanski. Apple tree might be John Gold. Now, it, I, it could be. I have heard of John Gold, but I'm quite sure it's James Greaves. Like I say, I'll find out off Ray next time I see him. And then we'll be 100% sure. Uh, Major Dog. Now, this Major Dog 23, thank you for your comment because this is where I made my mistake, folks. Right, nine inch nails are great. Love the tunes and the presentation. Keep it up, Dave. Thought the Ferrari were bush beans and not climbers. Are they a climbing type? Grapes look hopeful. Right, so I, I bought them Ferrari beans because years ago, Dan from Allot Dan Allotment Diary Dan, he recommended growing them and I had forgot that they were bush variety. So you're right, they are bush variety. 
So it's a good job I planted some more blue lake climbers because uh, I would have been scuppered there. Looks like we're going to have plenty of uh, French beans this year, folks. Eh? Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I, like I say, I was like, no, I'm sure the, the run out uh, the climbing beans like, so I get typed it in and it's there you go. French bean, uh, Ferrari dwarf French beans. Oh, no. Anyway, I'll put them in. We'll still get some beans, but thank you for that comment. It really did help us out. Uh, Tony Bones. Cheers for the update, fella. Ha ha ha. You gradually appearing like that reminds me of watching Mr. Ben when I was a kid. Ha <laughs> ha. Get in. I used to do, I used to change my clothes in the style of Mr. Ben into my work clothes years ago. I'll start doing that again. It was quite good fun, I suppose. But I missed up Ben. And as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. Now, lad. I've got a... Uh, uh, I'm not going to mess about. I'm just answering questions here. And uh, reading comments. So I... Tory Bones. Haha. <laughs> definitely. Um, Dave Halliday. Dave, love your videos. I've been a subscriber for a long time. Notice a lot of your compost has green algae on the top. And you said some seedlings were slow to come up. Think it's overwatering that causes this and, ha and can cause the growth and tr germination to slow down. Don't want to teach my granny to suck eggs and all them things. Ha! <laughs> Keep up the videos, Dave. We love them. Um, I, Dave, you're right. I made a schoolboy era didn't I because usually I put the water in it that the water would soak up quite quickly but when I started doing it the weather was still cold and the water wasn't going anywhere it was just sitting there so I did mess up a little bit but since I took the stuff out of the water the half grew but I, I usually do that if I'm going away for like a weekend and that you know and uh, or a few days I'll just fill the troughs and water and then I'll have enough water for like three days and then the rest of the week will be all right but I, I that's probably why some of my seedlings I mean most of the seedlings come up that they don't mind it but there is a few obviously that don't like being like wet all the time they don't like soggy bottoms so thanks for that Dave you're not teaching your granny to suck eggs <laughs> You're just reminding a diddery old folk huh, how to do things. <laughs> no, diddery old folk. <laughs> um, Lynn loves Jesus. Excellent on the Johnny Cash hurt. Lovely song. Aye, it is. Um, thank you. And that brings us on to this next comment. I like the guitar and singing, but... You are going far too fast, man. And then, after Neil Sheriff, you you answered my question for us. He speeds that bit up when editing to avoid content content matches. Well, that's exactly why. Um, because I I uploaded the video on Sunday. And as soon as like, YouTube, oh, and I got a copyright strike. So the only way around that somehow is by speeding up the music a little bit. And then like, like Neil says, it, it doesn't get picked up in the copyright content bit and all that, which is good for me, but not good for yous. <laughs> but what can I do? Uh, so I, Dick Dastardly, you are right. I do speed them up and I do play them a bit fast, but I have to. Otherwise, I just I wouldn't be able to sing any songs apart from my own. Because YouTube and copyright. I've noticed, I watch quite a few musicians on YouTube as well. And they play like, you know, Eagles or something. And they've been getting copyright strike. It's, it's crazy. How do they expect people to, like, you know. <coughs> they're not saying, nobody's saying that they wrote that song, but. If you're not allowed to play it, what's the point? Anyway, thanks for that comment, Dick Dastardly. And the final comment is from 
Mark Dryden, bless, love up and, t and ting, Mr. Dave Ha. Same to you, Mark. Nice one. Right, that's it. Uh, just a little bit something different today. Because, like I say, I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks. I'll not be making a video this weekend, so... It'll be next weekend when I make another video. So, until then, folks, take care, stay safe. <laughs> Remember when everybody used to have to stay safe? I thought I was back in the year 2020 there. Eh? So, like I say, thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing, and all that kind of thing. If you think this shout-out thing's any good, I'll do it again. Let us know in the comments below. Bing, 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 bing. See you later.